Hey, I'm Jay, and today we're going to talk about creating alerts in Azure App Service. Hey, this is Jay. I'm going to show you today how to create some alerts within our uh, Azure App Service uh, deployment that we've got here. And to get started, what I want to show you is what I've actually deployed. So right here, I've got a React Clock. It's a basic application. What does it do? Well, let's take a look. It's Clock. It tells time, uh, and it's like any other application. Uh, it's running uh, in Docker on our app service. I built it into a container, and it lives within an Azure uh, container registry. So if we go to our resource group, we can look at the ACR. Here's my ACR. Within my ACR, we can go to repositories. You can see I've got a repository with a couple different tag versions of the actual uh, container. Uh, but let's go back and let's go into our actual application. And to do that, we'll do uh, uh, we'll go to the resource group here. It's just J A Gord, uh, and now we're going to go to the application. And the application is right here, React Clock. So what we're going to do now is going to scroll down on the left side, and we're going to click Alerts. What this is going to do is help you configure some monitoring so you can pay attention to when something breaks. Uh, let's show you how to create an alert. Uh, so when our app is down, we get a notification. So new alert rule. So we're going to select our resource. We're already uh, have selected it because we were within the resource group. So now we have to actually add a condition. So what we're going to do is go by whether it's all the different metrics, the activity log, um, and now we have different types of metrics that we can actually base this on. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to, uh, let's just go with 404. If it's not there, um, it's, it's offline and we want to get an alert. So uh, we can do this for dynamic thresholds, but uh, I don't really think we're going to need to do that here today. Uh, we're going to use static. So we are going to use this. The, the metric dimensions uh, are here. We'll select that the instance. Let's see. Cool. So what we need to do is select an operator. And if our count, I suppose, is at, let's say, if we have more than four 404s over the count of one minute, over one minute, we'll get an alert. So we'll click Done. And uh, it is going to cost me 10 cents uh, every single time the alert happens. So now we can actually create an action. And what an action is, it's going to tell you what to do when uh, this occurs. So we can create an action group. And we'll just call it. Uh, React clock, short name, React clock, subscription, the resource group where it's going to keep everything because it's going to save it all in a separate resource group. But if we wanted to, we can keep it within here. Uh, we can give it a name and we'll just call it J Gord, aka, uh, we'll call it J Gord React clock. And we'll select the action type. And what we're going to do is have it send me an email. If I wanted to do something a little bit more complicated, I could. I could have it restart something, but for this case, I'll just go ahead and have it email me. And we'll go OK. And then we'll click OK. So now we've created the alert. We've actually told it what it's going to do when it's not working. Uh, we're going to give it an alert name. So we're going to go uh, application 404, specify an alert here. The application is responding with a 404. Then we can pick the severity of the instance, and we'll pick this as a sev1 because our app is down. And then we'll be able to create a rule. So this will take about 10 minutes to create, and now we'll have this rule uh, that'll allow us to do this monitoring and alerting around our particular uh, failure. So let's go to manage alert rules. We'll see this right here. It's got all the rule information, and it's going to take a little while for it to become able, but uh, it's there. 
And once it becomes uh, available, what I can do is easily just do something like change the configuration of the application uh, and maybe just break it intentionally. And then eventually I'll get the 404, I'll get an email, and I'll know that my app is broken and I can go in and fix it if I want to. So this is just a real quick intro to app service uh, monitoring. Uh, if you want to learn more, look what we got here. Monitoring for app service uh, for Azure right here in our docs. So I will make sure that this all gets saved to you and configure alerts for Azure. And we've got our log alerts, so you can get information about managing log alerts and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I will make sure you get that uh, in the bottom of this video's uh, notes. So if you want to get in touch with me, you can reach out. It's at jdestro on Twitter. Um, thanks a lot. And if you want to leave any other comments below, please do. Thank you.